Are you struggling to build your React Native iOS project? If you've encountered the error message saying that launchpackager.command can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer, you're definitely not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue head on. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're ready to dive into coding and a simple error message stops you in your tracks. This is a common hurdle for many developers, especially when working with React Native. Let's take a closer look at the specific issue. One user recently reached out with this exact problem, asking how to fix the error that prevents them from opening the launchpackager.command file. Sound familiar? If so, let's work through this together. So what does this error mean? Essentially, macOS is blocking the file because it doesn't recognize the developer. This is a security feature, but it can be a bit annoying when you're just trying to get your project up and running. Stick around, because at the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip to prevent this issue from happening in the future. You won't want to miss it. To resolve the issue with the launchpackager.command file, the user should first locate the file in Finder. This is typically found in the React Native project directory under the iOS folder. Next, the user needs to allow the file to be opened. This can be done by right-clicking on the file and selecting Open. A prompt will appear, asking if the user is sure they want to open it. If the user still encounters issues, they can adjust the security settings. They should go to System Preferences, then Security and Privacy, and under the General tab, allow apps downloaded from App Store and identified developers. Finally, the user should try running the command again. They can do this by returning to the terminal and executing the launchpackager.command file to start the React Native Packager. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of macOS was released in 2001? It's amazing how far technology has come since then, but some things like security prompts seem to stick around. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests changing the permissions of the launchpackager.command file. They recommend using the terminal to run the command cmod777 node modules slash react native slash scripts slash launchpackager.command. After that, you can run React Native Run Android to get it working. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution from another user suggests that the issue arises because the source code was downloaded using a virtual machine. They recommend downloading the source code directly on your actual machine first. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always check your security settings before starting a new project. This can save you a lot of time and frustration down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to open your launchpackager.com man file without any issues. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more troubleshooting tips. And remember, keep coding and stay curious.